Hi everyone, I wanted to come on and share um, the glitter duster from Stampers Anonymous. I had purchased this one from Simon Says. I think I paid a little bit over $5 for it. Um, I had recently hauled this and it's my first time using it, so I figured I'd come on and share with you guys if you haven't seen it um, yet. So I just used the Tim Holtz Distress. This one is the Vintage Platinum. Like an ultra fine dust. And it, this stuff is messy. If you have it, you know it just gets all over the place. Um, and I had actually went on Simon Says and ordered a few more bottles of these. This way I don't have to keep switching out glitters. Um, because this stuff can get messy when, you know, switching it all the time. Um, so I'm waiting for those to come in. And I used a few different, uh, materials, wood, paper flowers. I used metal, plastic, however, I think I just dusted the hell out of my little angel right here. Um, I used a wooden tag and I also did a little plastic ornament. So I'm going to share those with you guys, um, quickly. So... The way this works, of course, it's dry. You don't add any water or fluids in here. It's just a dry um, spray bottle. And the nozzle, you kind of just turn up like that. Let me show you quickly. And what I did, you'd have to obviously use an adhesive. So I got my little pail, my little tray right here I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just used some of my glossy accents. And I painted... Um, the glossy accents and then I dusted it so that's what I used for now because that's all I really had out a lot of my stuff is already packed away um so I used what I had and I kind of well I want to show you guys how it sprays out if you haven't seen it so I'm not going to put any um and a good thing and I try if what I don't even know what it's called it's this little box that you can order from I think it's from Tim Holtz it's a, a sprayer box you can put your item and just you know spray paint spray glitter and it just keeps it right in that little box it's only a few bucks but it's out of stock and I plan on getting that I can probably just use a cardboard box and cut the sides and it'll be free so let's see I'm gonna do this my poor little angel so you guys are going to see how it literally just kind of dust glitter all over the place. You see? Oh, I love this. I just don't like the glitter so much. The dust literally gets all over everything. So it's, I mean, it pumps nicely. I haven't had a problem with it. I love that. That's why I had purchased a few more. So let me show you the pieces. And I'm sure I'll get the hang of it and how close or further away to spray it so this is just a little wooden mermaid tail let's see if i can get a do you see how pretty and glittery and shimmery and it just lays it um evenly which i love so there's the wood piece this one i dusted a lot but could you guys see how pretty that is even on just like paper flowers it leaves a really pretty shimmer could you imagine, now, this will be going in another bottle. The Nouveau, this one is the, I shouldn't even be on here with my nails looking like this, guys. Uh, the Snow Glow. It's another ultra um, sparkle dust. This would be so pretty covered um, on projects as well. And I even did a metal piece. Let me show you guys. Do you see how they just left it even? Pretty. Huh? Let's focus. There we go. Oh, there we go. And that's just a small Tim Holtz metal piece, little charm. So glimmery. And then let me show you the plastic ornament. Let's see if we can get here. And again, I just use the glossy accents as an adhesive. But you see how. And it's smooth, too. I mean, the glitter dust is so fine. It just, I mean, of course you want to, when you do the glue, whatever adhesive you use, make sure you do it in a thin, even 
Um, I just used a brush. Isn't that pretty? So there's that, and I think I did, oh, let me show you guys my horrible angel. I just dusted the heck out of this little guy right here. This is a plastic angel. I shouldn't even be showing this. But I, yeah, I over dusted this little guy. I shouldn't even share that. And then paper, and I pulled out just a little die cut I had on hand. Again, used a little, brushed a little glossy accents. Just see how pretty it just lays evenly across. It's so pretty. So I would highly recommend the um, glitter duster. But I would also recommend getting a little box because this glitter can spray everywhere. You should see my area right now. It's glowing. <laughs> um, but who doesn't like glitter? And then this, let me show you guys. I didn't. If, well, obviously you can see the paint when I use the put the glossy accent on it. I didn't do it evenly, and you can see that. But do you see that shimmer? Very, very pretty. I can't wait until the other ones. And then these little tags I made um, when I was had all my Christmas stuff out. I had these little wood tags just laying around and. I just kind of used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and I stamped them, and I actually think they're cute as is, but I added some, uh, well, I used the glitter duster on this too. So pretty. So I did that, and I think that's all the items that I have tried already. And of course, once I get all set up, and um, I'm missing crafting right now, guys. I'm kind of going crazy. I want to craft, and I can't because I literally don't have too much of anything out right now. Um, but more projects that I use um, the glitter duster on, I will share as I go along. But this is a nice product, and it's really not, you know, that pricey. And remember, Simon Says always has a $5 coupon um, off your, you know, total purchase of $5 or more. So... That comes in handy, and I'm glad I did. I went ahead and purchased a few more of those. So I just wanted to uh, jump on and share that with you guys. If you have any questions, any feedback, comment below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, if you haven't checked out, I have two uh, giveaways going on right now. You can check those videos out. And until next time, guys, make sure safe and um take care guys and i'll chat with you guys soon bye